Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left off last time, we just made a pit stop at Bartholomew's house. Time to give him his whip. Bartholomew has managed to clean up the mess after the troll attack in his laboratory. The wizard is packing items, books, vials, manacles, and needles, carefully wrapping his things in cloth before placing them in crates. He turns as he notices you approach. Oh your grace, how good to see you alive and well. Let me congratulate you on another brilliant victory. Would you perhaps permit me one small request? I sense you've recovered something of mine. Bartholomew's voice trembles with excitement. Here it is, take it. The wizard snatches the whip from your hands and stops just sort of kissing it. It's unharmed, excellent, excellent. He carefully coils his treasure, wraps it in a clean cloth, and bundles the package with a crisscross cord. You have my eternal gratitude. Bartholomew places a bag of coins in your hands. You can't imagine what the thing means to me. Packing, are you leaving us soon? Yes, your grace, it's become too dangerous to stay here, even with your protection. I'll have to find somewhere safe and quiet. I have an offer for you. Stay as one of my advisors. There are so few people who see things in such a critical and rational way. Bartholomew stops packing and looks at you incredulously. Then he looks at the shack, or the stack, sorry, of books in his hands, and keeps silent for a long time, figuring something out in his mind. Finally, Bartholomew sighs and puts his book aside. I cannot refuse such an offer, your grace. Of course, I shall enter your service. After all, it's such a rare opportunity. For some reason, I can't hit the button. There we go. He looks around at his packed bags and smirks. Seems all this packing was unnecessary. I'll not take the laboratory with me. I prefer a lighter journey to the capital. As soon as I pack the essentials and lock up the house, I'll head straight for the city. See you there. We now have Forwards. a magic -y dude. And now we can leave and go to the capital. There's some things we need to do there. And we need to get Knock Knock soonish. I'm pretty sure we get him a couple of monster events later. And that's our current plight at the moment. So, we've done that. Is there a zone transition up here? I don't suppose there is, eh? Darn. Alright, off we go. Also, someone mentioned that when making a custom thing, you can hold shift and it snaps to- Oh, it does snap to grid. Oh, I like that. That's way better. Let's make a nice orderly line. That's going to be the greatest- Wait, why is Miri there in the formation? Why is Octavia there in the formation? Alright. Let's start with that. That was almost a problem. And then we'll just kind of like go like this and this, but we need to move- Oh, she's about middle, I guess. Move these over to the sides. No, it's definitely not middle. One over. Our group is very back heavy. That looks about correct. Close enough, I think. Alright. I will guide us. As long as Valerie's in front, that's all I really care about. That is the key feature here. Also, we can finally drop off Harem, who I am very pleased to not have in my party anymore. We're almost there. We're almost home. We can almost do leadery things. I need to catch my breath. And we'll head to the throne room right away. We need to buy a new district, actually. No, we have a thing. Oh, no, we don't have a thing. I thought we had someone coming towards us. But that didn't appear to be a thing. So the wise man was successful. He got loyalty and arcane. We did not do the mysterious cult. So we lost community and divine. We got military plus three. The raids are over. Mysterious weed plus three divine. Uh, plus, we did the road to Oleg's training post. Got some economy and relations. Excellent. Now we have a bunch of new projects to do, including fame magic. And just a ton of other things. But most importantly, this is the vital one. We're gonna claim the southern Narl marches. And we're gonna send Samiri to do that. So we don't have enough money. How much money do we need? We need way more money. Alright, we need to work on our economy. We need to up its rank. So let's do that first. Let's set up some projects, first of all, or I guess events or projects. Well, events and projects. Events first. Ancient tradition. Let's send Tristan to deal with that. An invitation to a celebrated folk festival was deli or delivered to the castle. Sure, go for it. Fey magic. You can do that. Sure, good enough. 
Testimony of Loyalty. I guess we're not doing that one yet. Enchanted Wind is... Oh wait, can we, can we even put him as an advisor yet? Not yet. Okay, so we don't have the upgraded advisor slots. So we can send... No, we can't send Jubilost. Jubilost is going to be dealing with another thing entirely. We're going to be upping our economy in 14 days. Temple for the people. Well, we can't do that one either yet. Alright, so projects. Anything that we can do that doesn't require Jubilost, other than the trade agreement with Sartova, which we're not doing. Amiri, please go deal with the talented recruits thing. Uh, support the general endeavor, that's going to be later on. Trade agreement with Mivon, I eventually will get that one, but not yet. Treasurer's Endeavor is the one we're going to be doing. Support the Regent's Endeavor. Oh no, we don't want to do that quite yet. We're also going to be doing that one shortly as well. Trade Agreement with Pitax is another one we want to do, but we don't have enough BP for it yet. Counselor's Endeavors, Research, we can't do any of those yet. Trade Agreement with Megar Varn is another one as well. But first, since we're here, and it is... Oh, we have a curse. Research into the... Oh, we don't have anybody that can deal with that yet. Okay, we'll deal with that one later. Uh, we need to do projects, support the treasurer's endeavors, and we will wait it out here for 14 days. And a bunch of events are going to kick off. My game just did a weird thing. Okay. Well, that was very odd. But anyways, treasury plus two. We didn't assign anyone to the test of loyalty, can't do that. Some of the opportunities will pass by if we just couldn't have anyone available. Ancient Tradition was successful. Loyalty plus six. Community minus one. Project was complete. Alright. So we have two new events to do. The treasurer requests are... Presence. Or request an audience, I should say. Greetings, Baron. Let's not beat around the bush. You and I simply must discuss taxes. I don't know how often you go to the treasury, but I go quite often indeed, as my services require. While there's less and less money in your coffers, while well, the demands of the barony keep growing, we simply must raise taxes whether your subjects like it or not. If I were you, I would raise the tax modestly. Of course, the treasury will not be replenished quickly, but the people will curse you significantly less. Jubilast grins, which means you may remain on the throne significantly longer. We will raise taxes by one-third. I think this will be a fair solution. Jubilos adjusts his glasses. Does my heart to see good, how, or does my heart good to see how reasonable and patient you can be? Believe me, in such a situation as this, is the best possible decision. So we got plus three economy, minus two loyalty, minus one community. That's fine. I'm okay with this. We have more kingdom affairs to manage, though. This is going to be a kingdom management type video, I think. Man's best friend. What is that? Some disreputable vendors are offering a litter of puppies found in a troll cave. The whelps may grow into fine hounds unless they tear their masters to pieces. Jubilos, go take care of this thing. That's a high DC. Like a pretty substantial DC for a random thing, but whatever. Projects. We need to do... Who's available for this? Nobody. Maybe we shouldn't do the dogs. What do we get from it? Plus three economy on success or triumph. We have other things we can do that are probably a little bit better for us, like trade agreements. That's plus one BP per week. I think Megar Varns is better, though. Uh, I think it's two BP per week. It is, but it costs 75 BP. But our BP per week is kind of low. We could purchase BP, though. How much do we have? We have lots of money. Okay, BP costs a fortune. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Um, 2 BP per week. So how many weeks? I'll take 30, <laughs> 37 and a half weeks to pay itself off. That's a lot. We'll wait on that one. We do want something for him to do, though. Oh, we can support the treasurer's endeavors again. Yeah, okay. Why not? It's two weeks. Get our economy up even more. Alright. Economy is now level three. 
and our BP per week is now at 34. The bear needs to help his companion before it's too late. Valerie seems anxious. Oh. I should go talk to Valerie right now. She wants our help. She's in this room, I believe. She's right there. Greetings, Valerie Sides. Everything is well, I hope. I'm ready for new orders. How do you feel? I see your wound hasn't healed yet. Valerie waves off your words. With more haste than prudence, please don't worry about such trifles. I will visit a priest or an alchemist when the time permits. As for how I feel, she smiles sourly. It's my pride that suffered most. It seems I must devote more time to training. I will keep this in mind in the future and will not let you down again. I should thank you, Ultimar. It's important that you were at my side. Now I'm sure that I'm finally free of the Order of the Eternal Rose and ready to devote all my time and efforts to our mission. You know, you don't have to follow etiquette and maintain good manners while speaking to me if you don't want to. I'm aware of that, she sighs, but I'm sure you understand what I am. It's how I was brought up, first by my parents, then by my dementors in the Order. Besides, I was born to a noble family, she raises her chin proudly, so I rather enjoy the idea that my manner of speech differs from the common language of the peasantry. You just can't imagine how my many social climbers have bowed politely the moment I open my mouth. How's your wound? Basically, it causes me no discomfort whatsoever, so if you're worried it might prevent me from serving you, then you shouldn't be. Alright, thanks. Well, we talked to her. She seems perturbed. But, whatever. Do we have any other companion quests? Only one. Lindsay's qu Oh, right. We should go deal with Lindsay, I suppose. It is that time of day. She bought a printing press without telling us. It cost us 30 BP, which is a week's worth of BPs. I need to go to the tavern. Alright, Lindsay, where are you? You're a tiny person. There you are. Lindsay shuffles around nervously, fidgeting with a quill in her hand. She turns bright red. Well, about the embezzlement, I mean, um... Calm down, Lindsay. Everything's fine. What is it you want to tell me? Well, it was me, but I can explain. She takes a deep breath. You see, I've always dreamed of opening my own printing house so I could print whatever books I want, and I found there was a printing press for a sir being sold for cheap in Brevoy, and well, I just couldn't resist. Alright, you can open your publishing house, but no more surprises. Thank you, you have my word, it won't happen again. There is one other problem though, the press should have been delivered by now, but it hasn't shown up. I'm afraid that with our roads and the seeming menagerie that roams them, it might end up vanishing into thin air. Can we maybe go check on it, see if anything's happened? It was supposed to be coming across the old road through the Gnarl Marches. Alright, let's go find your press, it's been pa already paid for after all. Yes, just don't leave without me. Lindsay stealing money to buy a press? I guess we can go do that really quickly. It's not that hard of a quest. We can get rid of Harem, thankfully, for once. And we need our other character. There we go. Canary gets to join our group once more. She got left behind for one mission. Because Harem required. So let's just go through the Gnarl Marches, right? The old road? Like up here? Like this area? Let's just go look around, I guess. Also, we still have an exclamation mark Y really quickly. Oh, projects that we can't do. Strengthen both of your skills as a treasurer. Actually, yeah, do that. But it's 100 BP. It means we're not going to be claiming that land for a while. Can we claim this now? 400. No, we're going to save over money. I do want to strengthen his resolve, but I want to... Oops, missed one more thing. I want to um, get that thing first. Fixing the consequences of the agreement with Yosef Salemius. Actually, that's a really good one, too. But that one costs 50 BP. It will save us money in the long run, though. Alright, fine, we'll do that one. 90, 90 days? Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Don't do that then. Just just hang tight. We're just gonna wait. Let's get the some other things first. 90 days is a long time to have our advisor being stuck doing something else. Um... 
Okay, we're traveling through the Gnarl Marches. We'll start at the Ruined Watchtower and go north from there, I guess? I don't remember exactly where we're supposed to go for this. I need inspiration. There's a young Dwemer cat and some mites. Why are the mites attacking? They used to be such a nice group of things. Taste my fury. Well, one might is just straight up dead. Are there are only two. Yes. The answer was yes. There were only two mites. They are now completely toast. Wasn't really worth even the loading screen we spent on it, but whatever. Not the hardest CR encounter. Oh, right, it's going south. I need to catch my breath. We'll rest in a minute, just chill out. Why okay, everyone's fatigued now. Camp? Oh, I didn't put I somebody on camouflage. Because we didn't have Canera last time, family. who I think is our stealther. Or is Lindsay our stealther? I don't remember who our stealth person is anymore, but it doesn't really matter, we didn't get attacked, so. Whatever. Next time we rest, we'll deal with that little problem. Alright, well, we're at the tower. Let's go all the way north, I guess. Wait, does it say on the map where it is? Stuck somewhere along the muddy roads of the Gnarl Marches. That's super unhelpful. I'm hoping it's one of these random encounters that keep popping up, but this, I think it's just monsters again. It's skeletons. At least some. <laughs> well, no one said that they were that tough. Oops. This is going to hurt. We shall overcome. We actually do some pretty decent damage with our bow when we actually hit now. It's because of that acid damage. It does quite a lot. Uh, go this way. Attack that one. Oh, I was kind of hoping you would kill both of them. Where's the other one? I thought there was another one up here somewhere. Or is this the last one? I guess this could actually... Oh, there's the other one. thought there was another one somewhere. Oh. Bother. There we go. And burn it. And shoot it. Nope. Nope. Lindsay, do zero damage. Did two damage. Alright, Smilodon's gonna run, like, the entire battlefield, so... We'll send it across, and that's it. Might get some Masterworks longswords out of that, which means... Actually, that reminds me, we should have sold all of the junk we had. I guess we could just quickly... Yeah, they're all Masterwork. We should just check where this quest is. We'll be wandering the path forever. Alright. Lindsay side quest. I know I found it before, but... Uh, go to the swamp, which is hut location. That's where we're supposed to go. All right, easy. Oh, it's way down there, isn't it? No, yeah. oh, it's way far. Oh, there we go. It's actually got an exclamation mark thing. We're kind of, we kind of headed in the correct direction, sort of. Swamp witch time. We're definitely gonna have to rest one more time before reaching rest it, though. Be Probably read as we reach it, actually. Canaries are holdout. Yep. Alright, manage. We need you to camouflage the camp, and you can help with guard duty. There. You Done. Good, but you're boring. Let's go get our sweet, sweet printing press. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our capital again, sell a bunch of stuff, see if there's anything new to buy. And then we're kind of waiting for some Fey things to kick in. 
so that we can go do our hunt and get knock knock. Um, if I were printing press, where would I be? It's along the road, so it's right here. I see some things going on. Everyone's going there. Why is Lindsay in the front? How did you fools manage to lose the horses? We're supposed to carry these boxes ourselves? What even are these iron things? And why the hells do we need them? That's them. Lindsay whispers, pointing at the bandits. Caught red-handed. We'll show them what happens when you steal someone or take someone else's things without, um... Well, we'll teach them a lesson. Those iron things will get us rich, blockhead. It's an alchemical transmuter. I've seen it in Ustalav. We'll assemble it, turn it on, turns rocks into gold all on its own. Don't just stand there, get in the harness. You sure about this? Alright, let's see if we can get this wag your wagon to move. I've been looking for you. Die, bandits. Look, it's that scumbag who took on the stag lord and no army to be seen. Lucky day, get him, everyone. If we take out the baron, we can become barons ourselves. Thrash the baron's scum. Stop hitting my baron. Why is the baron at the front of the group? He's a cleric. Flames take you. Oh, we missed. I shall not forgive me well, for that was quick. It'd be really nice if they didn't get a surprise. Why didn't we get a surprise round? We were the ones who surprised them. Oh, well, whatever. You know what? It's fine. He can just sleep for a while. We'll deal with the fight ourselves. That takes care of most of the fight. Any last wishes? This is for you. We could cast a spell, but it's not really worth it. He's on the ground, he'll be fine. Let us strike as one. Do not falter. Taste my fury. Yay, range touch attack actually works this time. And here we go. This should finish it off. There we go. Our Baron's getting back up. Without a doubt. <laughs> what did we get? Composite longbow, light crossbow, composite short bow. Nothing else from that side of things. How about these guys? Not even masterwork items. Gah. Whatever. It's not like I wanted good items anyways. After inspecting the, expecting all the boxes in the wagon, Lindsay barely restrains herself from kissing the mechanisms inside. The press, safe and sound, just need some assembly. Yay! I can't believe it. My own publishing house. I have so many ideas, so many plans. I don't know where to begin. What do you think I should print first? What would you like to print? I don't know, that's why I asked you. I mean, it's more than just a business decision, right? It's, well, a choice, a first step. Not like my whole career will depend on one book, but I'll always think back on it. Remember when you finally got your own printing press, Lindsay? What was your first printing again? And I don't want to be ashamed of my answer. Choose something beautiful, a book you wouldn't be ashamed to have your teacher read. She smiles at us warmly. It was teacher who showed me the beauty hidden in books. I think the best way to repay the kindness would be to do the same for others. Maybe that's really the main calling of the bard. Are you looking to waste paper? Well, if Altamar lets you, it's your right still. You best print something useful for the citizenry, not just something pleasant to a handful of intellectuals. Let's get to it. I'll send for horses to get this delivery the rest of the way to the capital. 600 experience. That's actually a lot of experience. At least we got some experience out of this, if no loot, because the loot was garbage. But we really need to sell things, because we have a lot of masterwork items, like a fairly armory-sized amount of masterwork items that are just clogging up inventory space. We're carrying how much? 1,600 pounds of items. Which is good, because I think our Smilodons... Do our Smilodons increase our carrying capacity? If that's the case, we should just make an entire group full of Smilodons. No, because it would never work. It would be cool until nothing could move. Because there'd be just so many bodies in the way. We also need to go to Candlemere at some point, I just realized. Once we get our kingdom, we'll just... Oh. Yeah, okay, fine. Although our main character is kind of almost dead. Quick. At least we're in proper formation this time. Um... Okay. Why can't we charge? We can't charge that guy. But we can charge her? Or the other archer? Anyone behind us? Not that I can see. Alright, take care of that guy. Next 
smell it on. Take care of that one. And Lindsay. I guess you could shoot the brawler. And Canera can shoot the brawler. So apparently has quite a lot of life. And we'll shoot the brawler. He's almost dead. And Octavia. We're gonna be resting pretty soon, I think, so might as well just do a good attack. Finish him off. And Valerie can hit that one once. Yeah, we took an AOO, but I wanted behind. And that's the end of that. Neat little bandit fight, couple hundred experience. Getting closer to a level. I really want another level. What do we get at level 9? A feat? I think. And something else. Take the Masterwork Longsword and the Composite Bows. We are really encumbering our group though. Just so many items. So many Masterwork garbage items. Let's continue on our journey. We need better horse. We need. I wish you could just build roads like you can in the pen and paper game. It's way better in that regard. A rest would be welcome. Because roads are really cheap, and they help a lot. Why don't we set up camp? Sure. I guess we can rest here. Five to five already. We're still four to five. I won. <laughs> And we, oops, and we rested up, and I clicked off screen by accident. We'll do this thing. Get back home, do our kingdom stuff, and then call it a video. And then sell some stuff between videos, because inventory management is kind of boring. There's a dude. A dude that wants dude things. What does the dude want? Jod says, judging by his flared nostrils and furrowed brow, something has upset Jod greatly. Your Grace? I fear one of your subjects. He goes by the name of Remus. We caught him spreading false prophecies, sowing fear among your people. The old man before you was clad in tattered rags. His gray hair and beard are filthy and matted. Judging by the smell, he has not bathed in some time. Perhaps years, and you have to fight the urge to cover your nose. Oblivious, the man picks at his beard in silence, as if trying to catch lice. You're not even certain he knows you where he is. Jod straightens his face flushing, as if this wasn't enough. A rascal, forgive my words. This prophet blasphemed against the deities, proclaiming we must bow to some false god. At the mention of God, the old man shudders and his eyes go wild, almost feverish. The goddess will rise from the forests, from the swamps you've cut down her trees and drained her marshes. But she will take no more of this. Fall to your knees and repent. She will grant you a swift death. Your grace, you have to deal with this madman. I'm the only sane person in this city, this hideous, ugly city. Its stone buildings claw into the soil. They think and think themselves safe. But the sky shall open, the earth shall tremble, and the city shall crumble beneath its pride. A rest will have mercy, will you be silent, you fool? And another world will swallow the ugly city and its careless dwellers, and only the rain shall weep for the emptiness left in their place. We already met, just outside of Oleg's trading post, remember? Remus gives you an absent-minded look. It seems he's at a loss. It's up to you how to her. It's up to you to decide this homegrown Arodin's fate. Bear and await your command. How can we just execute him? Remus, oh we can't execute him. By insulting the gods and defying your ruler, you've committed treason. The sentence is death. Take him away. It's a harsh penalty, your grace, but a just one. Anyone who preaches fear and causes discord must face the consequences. Jod bows and ends the conversation. I gotta make sure that no work has come in for me yet. Really quickly. It has not. Excellent. I like today. Today's a good day. Today is a day where not much is going on. We met with the Doomsayer, we got plus one divine. We do have plus one bandits outrage, it's called. Several bandit encampments have emerged in the Narl Marshes. They plunder the peasants, rob travelers, merchants, and even attack tax collectors. They need to be muzzled. Good. We have a person for that job right now. Go, Amiri. Deal with that. Man's best friend. Hmm. You can go do that, I guess. 14. Uh, I'll wait a couple seconds because this month is going to tick over anyways. We'll just wait that one out a sec. Although, is there any other thing to do, I guess? Really quickly, before we call it a video, we should check other projects. 
Who is available for our people? Jubilost is? We don't have enough money for the trade. How much is that trade agreement, by the way? 1500 BP. But it does give uh, plus 5 BP per week for each city, which is a lot. Two for each town, again a lot, and one for each village, and again, that's quite a bit. It can add up really quickly. Support the General's Endeavors. She's off doing another mission. Trade agreement with Mivan. That's 100 BP. We still don't have enough BP. Can we just buy? How much is 70 BP? Can I just type this in? How much do we need? Uh, we would need 72, not 721. It's only $5,000. Where's my BP? Do I need to like reload? There it is. Okay, now we have it. We can start the event. It takes 14 days still. Of course it does. I don't know why she couldn't just go do that while we do other things. I don't know why we have to wait that out. But regardless, our barony has expanded and now includes the southern Gnarl marches. Not the northern ones, though. We don't have the northern Gnarl marches yet, or the Kama lands, for that matter. But we'll deal with that. It must be Kame lands, I guess. I think it's Kama lands. Uh, Bandit's Outrage is dealt with, and nothing else has been dealt with. Cheap publicity. A group of bards has offered to praise the ruler for a modest fee. Their songs will spread the news in the remote villages of the Staglord's death and the shift in power. Their songs in praise of the new baron will keep the peasants loyal. Who's available to do that? Tristan! Enjoy. You have publicity things to do. Restoration of Bronze Shield Fortress. Ooh. We don't have 100 BP to start with, so. Can't do that. We're poor. We have 88 BP. Although we can establish a community, I guess. Let's go to the map. Specifically this one. We haven't claimed any resources in that region. We really should. Uh, regions. Where do we want to put this town? We can put the town anywhere we want. It should be on like a river, I think. Let's put it here. We can put it near the lake, I guess. That's kind of near. We can put it right near Candlemere Lake. Yeah, okay. Why not? Gnarl Keep. Fine. Good enough name. Now, unfortunately, we do not have any BP to build anything in the town because I think we have exactly 38 BP, which is not a whole lot. We'll deal with it next time, though. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.